An entire PC on a stick? Let's check this out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm looking at this. Now, all right, it's not really a stick. It's a little bigger than that, but this is the Azul Access 3 fanless mini PC stick. Now, what do you notice is missing? There's no display, there's no keyboard, there's no mouse, no input, no output, except there are ports. So, let me fold that down a little bit. So this is actually an extremely interesting little device because they have jammed a whole heck of a lot of technology in here. Basically, you have an HDMI plug on one end and you have USB and Bluetooth so you can choose what kind of input device you want to use. We'll get back to that in a minute. But this particular one is running the Intel Celeron Gemini Lake N4100, which is a 1.1 gigahertz CPU, so not crazy fast. You can actually save a little more money and you can get the quad core Apollo Lake N3450. Either way, you get the Intel HD graphics, the 500 GPU. This particular unit has four gigabytes of RAM and 32 gig of storage, which as you can see in this spec, basically means that you have 13 gigabytes free once you have Windows 10 Pro installed on it. Now, there are some OS options, we'll get back to that. And so this also features dual band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, a one gigabyte ethernet port on the end, and Bluetooth 4.0 and the HDMI, it can push out 4K at 30 frames a second, which is good because I use this with a 4K TV. Now, if we take a tour on the side, then you can see there are two USB 3.0 slots. There's a micro SD slot that you use for charging because it comes with a charger. Let me show you that real quick. Charger and micro USB on the end of it. So tiny bit clumsy, but hey, this thing needs power, right? And then there's the power switch. On the end, you have a 3.5 millimeter audio out, you have ethernet, and you also have the Kensington lock mechanism. So if you wanna have this in a computer lab and you wanna make sure no one walks off with it, cause seriously, you could totally slip that in your pocket, then that would be how you do it. And let's see, on the other side, you have the antenna to make your Wi-Fi work better as needed and a micro SD slot. So you can actually put in more memory or actually just have a lot of data that you wanna just put on there, for example, a bunch of movies. Now, this particular configuration I got ran with Windows 10 Pro and you can obviously also put something else on it. You can buy it actually with Linux on it. And I gotta say, I think Linux might be the way to go with something like this. We'll see that in just a second on the demo. Now, I wanna point out before I show you some live demos that on a 4K display, this ran at 3840 by 2160. That is a lot of bits. That is a lot of pixels. And to actually make it even marginally functional, I had to change the size of text and icons to 250%. Otherwise, they were so darn small, I couldn't even understand what was going on. So, all well and good, let's get into some demos. Now, the first demo I'm showing you here is actually a live capture of Microsoft Edge. So you can see here, I start out with YouTube and had some synchronization problems with the YouTube video. But now let's switch over to Netflix. And you can see when Netflix shows the little demo of this new up and coming show that it actually runs very smoothly. And when I scroll down, everything works perfectly well. Now, I couldn't actually do a full screen capture because that's not how that software worked. So, now I'm gonna switch to just videotaping my TV screen and you can get a little bit different sense of how this all works. It is definitely pretty cool to plug a device in and just suddenly you're running Windows on your TV. This obviously would be great for if you were traveling, for example, and in a hotel room. Now, I'm gonna launch Microsoft Store and you'll see some performance stuff here about how fast it launches. And then we're gonna go and look at what apps need updates, actually quite a lot of them. But you can see how fast this is or perhaps isn't. You know, all in all, 
it's a pretty innovative and rather unique device. I think there's a lot to like about this. Again, I'm not sure this is an optimal environment for running Windows 10. So I think I would rather actually buy this with a Linux installed and that is an option from Azul. So now before I actually get to the price and give you my final summary, let me ask if you can go ahead and click on that subscribe button really appreciate when you subscribe to my channel and give me some feedback are you interested in these sort of devices and if you would get a pc with this form factor what would you do with it oh and one thing i did want to also say two more things number one i ended up having to use the included hdmi extender cable so you plug it into the hdmi on the unit and then you plug this into your tv and i needed to do that because this was a little wider than the actual space on the side of my Vizio TV. So this by itself, I couldn't get to plug in. And then the other thing that was important is I had a wireless Logitech keyboard. This is not a Bluetooth keyboard, but it means it has a tiny little doohickey that you just plug into USB. So easy enough, I just plugged it into the side of the Access 3 and now I was ready to go. And this is sort of optimal because it's a keyboard and it also has a trackpad on it. So it gave me all the controls I needed to be able to actually sit back on the couch and manage my PC running on my television. Really kind of a cool concept. So the concept of it is very slick. The performance of this particular unit was not anything I would write home about, but if I were to take this with me to, for example, a hotel room and plug it in and wanted to use it as an entertainment server or something, then it has decent enough horsepower. As long as you have a good internet connection, you could definitely use this for that. Or you can use like the micro SD or just drop it directly onto the drive that's actually in the unit. You could drop a bunch of movies or TV shows on here and you would be good to go as long as you remember to have an input device to control it. So. Is that your cup of tea? It might be. It's kind of a fun hackery sort of thing to like walk up to a TV, plug something in and boom, you're running PC, you're running Windows, you're running Linux, whatever it is you want to do. So as for me, I feel like I'd rather just have a more powerful laptop, but of course they're entirely different beasts. So maybe that's not a fair comparison. I will say the price is very pleasant. So this Azul Access 3, and this is with the Gemini Lake N4100 CPU, 4 gig of RAM and 32 gig of storage is $219.99 at azultech.com. And then depending on configuration with RAM and storage and CPU and all those sort of variables, you can actually make it less expensive or a little bit more expensive. So really interesting, would be doubly interesting to drop a Linux on it and see how how that performed but either way this could be a really nice and highly portable look at how small this thing is highly portable media center for you to take with when you're on trips when you're in a hotel room when you're visiting with your in-laws whatever it is wherever you need an escape here is your escape outlet <laughs> so with that i'm going to plug it back in and i'm going to go ahead and watch that new show on netflix which means i'll catch you in my next video